we found that more than half countries don't have proper legislation in place because they thought slavery was, was no longer, but in fact it is. And so my mission is to ensure that all states have the legislation to hold people responsible for modern slavery. One of the interesting things about uh, neurolaw is it is almost like science fiction, but it's happening now. We shouldn't think about making money and acting ethically as a choice. We need to be doing both. How do we approach principled behaviour in companies and a principled treatment of employees, creditors, customers, suppliers, everyone else who might benefit from a company as well as be affected by it? A civil society aims at that kind of goal and we need laws and practices that support that goal. The challenge with regulating any technology is that it does have legitimate purposes. And so the idea of outlawing cryptocurrency is one option. So China, for example, has, has banned offerings of cryptocurrencies. But they face the challenge, which is common in the online world, is this is a transnational problem. We simply don't know how prevalent forced marriage is in Australia. A lot of people are very ashamed uh, to report it, fearful of consequences. I think. People who use drugs are some of the most stigmatised and marginalised people in our community. And I actually think addiction is the most stigmatised condition on earth. Family violence is the only crime in Australia that's growing at the moment. And as a consequence, I think we have a responsibility to address that. There have always been laws that make it an offence to kill people, to threaten them, to have dangerous stuff, to conspire to do this. We just don't need new laws.